What is up, everybody? It's easy. Easy Street Gaming. Yes, it's true. Romper Stompers back in the clan. He's showing us a couple of pretty cool attacks that he did while he was outside the clan. This is an 8 healer slap. And for any of you that have been around for a while, you'll recognize the, the, the makeup of this attack. This is how the bowls were first used when people first figured out that bowls were an elite troop. You'll notice that he has a couple healers on the queen, he'll have a couple healers on these first bowlers, and then he'll put in another group of bowlers and put a few healers on them. So he'll have healers all over the place. And watch what happens here. This is just a, a, a massive, massive attack. The key, the key to all bowler attacks, especially in Town Hall 11, is to funnel them into the base and not over a triple set of giant bombs. Because <laughs> uh, that will put an instant end to your attack. Um, be, be mindful with your warden's ability because bowlers love to find the giant bombs and I believe two of them if they run over double giant bombs that will take out max bowlers unless you have a heal spell down or healers on them or the warden's ability uh, this attack took like a minute I mean he, he and this was not a this is not a wimpy base this is uh, if it's not max it's close And you'll notice also, with with eight healers, you'd think that he, he'd have a deficiency of troops, but th there really isn't. The, the healers shared duty, and they kept everything alive. He has tons of troops left at the end. He's got a, this giant pack of, of troops up down, with, down bottom with the Barbarian King. The Queen hasn't even used her ability yet. There's nothing left on the base. This is a total uh, blowout attack. Next attack is a hog rider attack, so I decided to find some other hog rider attacks. It's the barbarian versus the hog. <laughs> I don't know where we find these people. Here's the archer versus the hog. And this is the level 1 Barbarian King, level 1 Clan Castle, versus the Max Hog. And this is the dumbest person I've ever seen in my life. Yes, you get stitches when you try to handle a wild hog with your hands, idiot. So let's see if uh, if Romper Stomper does a little better with his Hog Rider attack. This is, again, this is a, Town Hall 11. He's got max heroes, which is a this is a having max heroes in these attacks is a huge asset. Uh, so if you're going to try to duplicate this attack and you don't have max heroes, it's going to be a lot harder. You you won't be able to get as deep into the base as he does um, in this particular attack. The Queen lives throughout the whole attack. Uh, now he also uses the Queen's ability at the perfect time. That's a single target in front of right there. And doesn't lose the Queen. Keeps her alive. Takes out the Inferno. He's got healers on the Queen. Now the, the Queen is, is healing back up. Still hasn't used her ability. He used the Warden's ability to keep her alive. Because if the Inferno Tower is in single target mode and it starts taking down the Queen really fast, even if she uses her ability, it will still overpower the, the ability and she'll still go down but using the the warden's ability will nullify that and now he puts in a giant pack of hog riders he's got four heal spells and you just have to be real patient with the heal spells here it takes a, um, some good planning a little bit of luck because sometimes you can run into a, a good um, base may have th those perfect uh, spring traps where you just lose two or three hogs every time they go around a corner. But he was real patient with the heal spells. 
uses the last one, this last little section. Notice the queen is still up, hasn't used her ability yet. Still got a, still got a, a baby dragon. Again, just a, a, a huge attack. And these are hog riders in Town Hall 11. Hog riders are really popular in Town Hall 9. You get to Town Hall 10, they are really hard to use. But now back in Town Hall 11, well, Romper makes it look easy, so it's got to be easy. <laughs> This is how you tame a, a wild hog in the city. There's a, some, I think it was a kid just got mauled. I don't know who that guy is, but he was not gonna put up with this. He's done, he's gonna take action. So he steps up, looks at the hog and goes, oh, no. <laughs> but it was a brilliant plan. He plans a decoy. I don't know what the hell he picked up off the street or if that's a war zone, I don't know, but that looked like a piece of concrete that he just blasted over the head uh, with, with the hog. So, <laughs> must be in the Ukraine. I, I don't know. <laughs> so this was um, I wanted to show this attack not because it's, it's this incredible attack, but because we still have people making these bases. If you if you notice the base, they have put walls around every single one of their defenses. This is a huge fundamental flaw. The reason is, is that before even this was not, this was not a. Uh, I didn't have to watch replays. I didn't have to plan this out. I know that there's not going to be any spring traps next to any of these defenses, so you can use troops that can avoid the walls, like the miners and the hog riders, and you you have a giant safe zone throughout the whole exterior of this of this base. Well, the the exterior of the core of the base. So started cleaning out the outside with the with the queen walking the warden. Just make sure you keep the queen up by using the rage spells at the right time. Try to save her ability if you can. Watch, I couldn't. Try to save the the warden's ability. And in comes the hog riders. In comes the the, the miners. I try to path the hog riders right behind the miners. The miner the miners. Uh, will dig up any of the any of the giant bombs you know giant bombs don't do the damage they used to do to hog riders for any of the older players we all, we know that but by passing the the miners and the hog riders together it just seems as if they're they're a lot more sturdy now i know that a, a minor attack these days is not usually what you'd want to do in war but bases like this are begging for it so don't be afraid to use the hog riders and don't be afraid to use the miners, especially when they build bases that have no spaces next to all the defenses. This is a huge fundamental flaw. And let's see, that was the number four player. And you know, the, the, looks like it may have been fairly new because they still have that row of walls. I don't know why you would build a base. See, this is what gets me. If you're a Town Hall 11, you've probably been playing for three or four years, or you know, for a long time. And after all this time, I'll get to this in a second. After all that time, that's how you're going to represent yourself with a big row of walls that you're still working on on your war base, which that may have just been his regular farming base. Now, right now we have the the balloon and the haste event. I think if you do 20 attacks with at least uh, 10 balloons, uh, you'll get uh, the book of spells. I believe is what you'll get. Um, I wanted to show this raid not because this is a precise precision uh, technique. Because it is a very simple raid to do, basically all, all that you do is you'll start off by putting your, the king and the queen down. Put the king down to tank for the queen a little bit. It's, they, they call it a naked hero attack. Uh, not putting any healers on them or anything. So you just use the, the king to tank for the queen. Try to get the queen to distract, or the king and the queen to distract as many of those outer defenses that can shoot up in the air. Then you put in a giant line of, of balloons. Follow it in with uh, the... The three, uh, three lava hounds, tongue tied, like every uh, video. <laughs> three lava hounds, and then just use the spells and 
I've probably used this attack 30 times in the past two days and probably three starred with it 20 plus times. But the other times I did not because I really had no business even attacking the base. They were really well designed and now in, in Titan League. So, And now this base, due to an incredible design, watch the defense that it puts out. And again, just wanted to stress how design is everything. And if you're going to play, take the time to represent yourself well. This player right here has probably been playing three years by the looks of his base. Now notice the waited on the waited on the warden's ability to last second so right now in the core of the base use the warden's ability uh you may want to use a, what else i've been using is a clone spell uh my my clone is one before max so i've just got it going up to max now if you are keeping up with your clone spell in town hall 11 uh, it is a huge asset for these balloons uh, especially if you drop it in the middle of a giant cluster of balloons yeah just kidding by the way this was a terrible base don't build big squares that's what your little sister will build if she's eight years old. <laughs> this is supposed to be a stra strategic game. Build your bases. Take time to build your bases. You shouldn't let people uh, just wipe you out like that. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sub to the channel. We've got 230 some odd videos. Most of them dumb, but some of them pretty good. <laughs> Appreciate everyone for watching. Till next time. It's been easy. Take care. Devil eyes. I said she had those devil eyes.